Um, I started working at the Improv in 1967. I was working in Fiddle Around the Roof at the Majestic Theater. And every night I would get out of my peasant clothes and jump into my girl singer clothes and rush out the stage door and proceed to traverse the most dangerous block of real estate in the entire world. It was an indescribable block. It was 44th between 8th and 9th Avenues. And it was something. It was as though they had taken a block out of Saigon and dropped it right into the middle of New York City. Every night, you know, you would see those fabulous uh, lines outside the improv shining like a beacon at the end of the, of the block. And, and you'd say to yourself, oh, my goodness, all those chic people are there to see me. And then you'd get, get up close and you'd realize that uh, they were from Long Island City or New Jersey. And they'd be saying things like, gee, I wonder if Liza Minnelli's going to show up tonight. And, of course, uh, they were never disappointed because if she didn't show up, someone was always there to do an impersonation. I spent uh, three years there. I worked there every night, and I had a fabulous, fabulous time. I'm really I'm sorry that I can't be there tonight, but I'm very happy and proud to have been in your company, bud, and I send you my love and a song that I think says it all. For those of you who are at home, why don't you just sit back, water down your drink, and you'll feel just like you're at the club. Congratulations, bud. Bicycles, oh, busted chains, rusted handlebars out in the rain. Somebody must have an orphanage for these things that nobody wants anymore. September. improv show wouldn't be the improv without introducing a new act or two. So please welcome a brand new face, Dana Carvey. Uh, how are you tonight? You're looking at me like you're thinking, gee, you look like your name should be Scooter. <laughs> 
Is that what you think? I, I don't intimidate anybody. There's no guy here that thinks maybe I could kick his ass. Am I right? Is there any guy just a little bit frightened of me? Dan Haggerty is... Well, I think I could kick the shit out of you, little squirt. You look like your name should be Scooter, don't you? You ever wrestle with a grizzly? You ever kick a grizzly bear on the balls, Dan? Or... I feel pretty good. Can I take this coat off or do I look a little bit like Alan Thick right now? I was in a closet. <laughs> Alan Thicke in a closet around a guy. I am John Davidson. I am John Davidson. Um, see here, I'm just teasing. I have nothing against him. I'll take that off. It's very casual. You say babe a lot in Hollywood. Have you noticed? There's Kathy Lee Crosby. How are you, babe? Good to see you. How are you, babe? Did, did you say babe a lot here? I, I never was called babe until I got to Hollywood. People were saying babe. How are you, babe? Good to see you, babe. Hi. Is your name babe? My name is babe. Now let's get a large cheese babe, okay, babe? All right, babe. Everything's babe. So, uh, I, am Dana, I am Dana Carvey, and um, I'm just gosh darn proud to be here. I used to be a busboy. This certainly beats that here at the Empire. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So, my father wanted me to be a rock star because he heard they made a lot of money, and it's true. Paul McCartney is worth $600 million. Most of us are, what, worth half that, something like that? <laughs> 600 million bucks. You got 600 million. Think of that. You could lose like 200 million. Wouldn't upset you that much. How mad can you be? You still got 400 million. You know, Paul would say, Linda, have you seen me wallet? <laughs> I had to lose it. I had 200 million in it. I don't want to lose 200 million. Gives me a headache all day, you know. I guess I have to use me MasterCard. <laughs> He'd have like a 500 million dollar limit on his card and he'd go over, right? I shouldn't have put the island on the card. <laughs> Very good. Well, people having a good time here. What are, what are you doing with these, like, 1,900 napkins? Is that the... I love what people do with napkins. Here we go. Look, you make little napkin sculptures there. Well, the show's not too good. Let's make little napkin sculptures. Look, looks like a bird, honey. Looks like something Jacques Cousteau would find, doesn't it? Kind of floating in the sea. Some kind of fabulous sea creature. Hello, my name is Jacques Cousteau. Myself and the crew of the Calypso are watching the flying pepper fish wave in the sea. <laughs> Frantically waving its paper like shape in the methane or a shower. Over here <laughs> is the female pepper fish. <laughs> She's one hot bitch of a fish. <laughs> she knows what she wants and she knows how to get it. <laughs> Anywhere you look at it, it's a pretty hot situation. The male paper fish now moves in quickly, shaking his tail. <laughs> this signifies the beginning of the methane or ritual. This as as if, to, remember that it was always as if to say, I have cocaine, come to my house. <laughs> That's sex, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you, you guys, very nice. Um,